Right, okay, so playing devil's advocate here, I think from Barcelona's point of view, because their argument would be that this is sorting out their house, that they needed this player and they needed to do it now, and they got a very favourable deal from Manchester City. Now, not in terms of the basic price, because, well, they can't play him just yet, but they will believe, of course, that over the course of January they will be able to get him registered and probably sooner rather than later. Uh, And so they look at this and say, well, okay, it's it's a beneficial deal now in which Manchester City will not be demanding all that money up front. We'll be able to deal with that in stages and in instalments over the next, uh, well, certainly between now and the summer when they can make more movements, and which, of course, includes the departure of Antoine Griezmann for €40 million. Euros. So that's part of it. That would be part of their argument. The other part of their argument would be that they will be very confident, or, and this is the possibly the foolish thing, are they being foolishly confident that things will change in terms of the financial fair play structure, the, the salary cap structure, in January to enable them to, to register him. But yes... It would be an enormous disaster from their point of view now if having signed Ferran Torres, they couldn't register him. And and let's go back to something very basic. And I, I don't necessarily want to say this is the same situation, but of course it's all born of the same situation. In the summer, Barcelona briefed two or three times. It's okay. The messy situation has been resolved. We've got this fixed now. And then there was a point when they went to the La Liga twice, in fact, had La Liga investigate it, look into the numbers and say... This still doesn't fulfil the criteria. And so that optimism, which Barcelona have, that's the reason this has gone through. But of course, that optimism, there is always the risk that some of the things that they think will fall into place don't do so. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.